I was very young, we had the radio on the farm truck and uh, in between cuts, that's where you control the water in a citrus grove and farming, I would go over and listen to Notre Dame football. You know, you're a young kid and I didn't really know much about Notre Dame. It's just that my dad put it on the radio and I sort of fell in love with it. Came here with stars in my eyes, thought I'd do a lot. I didn't do anything for three years. Uh, the football program was uh, kind of uh, lopsided at that point. And then, uh, as fortune would have it, uh, in the winter of uh, 64, they announced Aeroparsesian and we began to build the program. We were having a scrimmage, a short yardage scrimmage. And of course, I'm not gonna be in that. Um, I'm holding my helmet. I'm just kind of leaning there, watching the guys out on the five yard line. Suddenly, Eric Parsegian says, Hewitt, get in there, middle linebacker. And I go, oh man, they wanna see if I'll play football. <laughs> So I get in there and they run a play to the left and I put my head in there as best I can and they run a play to the right and I put my head in there as best I can and they run a sweep over here and, and I run over there and get my head in there and they go, Howard, get out of there. It was very interesting and that they, they wanted to see if this quarterback who's doing the pretty things, if he'll play a little football. I'm not very big, I was 190. And, uh, but it was, I always thought that was smart. You, you, you know, a guy can look pretty, but you're going to get bounced around as a quarterback, and it gives the coaches kind of a flavor of what kind of person they're, they're working with. You don't want to find that out, you know, in front of 80,000 people. I think on a Wednesday before our first big game, I remember very clearly um, walking in, and Eris and I were just together, the rest of the team had gone in, evening time, and Eris said to me, uh, uh, John, I'm going with you. Uh, and he said, uh, I just want you to do the same things you're doing out here in practice. If you make a mistake, don't worry about it. I'm going with you. That was really a smart thing. I thought about it over all these years because here I had not much confidence. I'd had me in letter as a freshman, sophomore, and junior and played very little. But I thought that was very, very smart of Era to realize he had a young kid who could do some things, but I want him just to relax and do the same thing he does on the practice field. During the 1964 season, Ewart threw for 2,062 yards on 114 completions. Against Navy, he averaged 27.4 yards for 10 completions and a new school record. In the contest against Pitt, John threw a 91-yard touchdown pass to Nick Eddy, which ranked as the second longest completion in Irish history. In all, he set two NCAA and nine Notre Dame offensive records. Truly, John Ewart had a Heisman season. Uh, there was a phone down at the end of uh, Walsh Hall on the second floor. It rang. George Keenan went down there. We called him Jeek. And he shouted down the hall, John, you got it. <laughs> I walked down, took the phone, Charlie Jones, our PR man, John, you won the Heisman Trophy, I have to go to New York and so on. I later called my parents and uh, it was very exciting. 